Greetings, everybody. I'm Lobo, and welcome to Luna. This is episode 131 of my Minecraft survival series, and today we are making our way back down to the approach to Luna, uh, our city that you can see right over here. Now, last episode, uh, we got this house built in. Well, we got the general structure of it built in. We got the exterior basically done, but there's still a lot of work to do here. For instance, we need a yard. Uh, so we need to do some landscaping, obviously, but on top of that, even more than that, we need to actually fix the land over here because this, this is not looking so great. Uh, that's not the only thing we need to do. We need to also go and kind of decorate this thing because as you can see, uh, the interior of this is pretty much non-existent at the moment. So let's go ahead and come up with a plan on how we're going to remedy that. Now, I'm thinking we're going to need three main rooms. We're going to need a storage and crafting room. We're going to need a bedroom for me and a bedroom for Watchdog, my second account. Now, I did promise, if you remember the last house we built, I gave Watchdog a view and then I kind of took it away. Um, so I think maybe we'll give Watchdog this top floor over here so that way he can have a decent view for once. Uh, so we'll go ahead and mark out his room. I think we're probably just going to take up like a portion of this floor, maybe to like right here-ish. And this will be like sectioned off. That'll be his area. This will be his bedroom. Uh, and I think for myself, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. Give myself the exact same dimensions of a room down here. Uh, so let's see we go across right here so this way he doesn't feel you know like he's getting cheated out of, out of space you know we got the same amount of living area uh, and that also leaves a little bit of room down here for a common area like kind of a living room or something like that uh, and I think that'll be good that'll suit our needs for the time being because remember this is only a temporary residence now down here this is going to be like our storage and crafting room and to me it would make sense to actually get some of the stuff that we need to put into storage in storage because as you can see over here we have chests full of items over there that we're using to build the explorers lodge we have a uh, chest full of items over here and it would make sense to kind of get those consolidated and have them all close by because we are going to be using those items for building here so the storage room is the first thing on the agenda and the first thing we're going to do is actually carve out some space to make a couple walls full of chests. Uh, now this wall is pretty easy that that I know that's going to be a wall. Um, and then on top of this, I don't because that's not going to be enough overall storage space. We could probably not not take out this wall. That's not going to work. Uh, but maybe since I believe this is nestled in the ground as well, yes, uh, we could take out a bit of this wall and that will give us hopefully enough storage space for the approach overall. So I'm thinking maybe two rows of chests on each wall would be enough. At least I hope it would be enough to, to accommodate us here. Um, I will need to get some more chests made up. Uh, but, you know, this is just to make it easier for me to have my items here that I know I'm going to need to build with rather than having to run back and forth from our main storage system every time we need to get something. But there we go. We have all our chests in place. Hopefully that's going to be enough. If not, I mean, we got plenty of interior room here to add more chests if we really need to. Uh, but I would like to save more space to have like an interior built in here, have some actual walls and stuff go up instead of using our exterior walls for the interior of this place. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that should be enough. I think I hope uh, because, you know, it looks like we have a lot of chests all over the place up here, but none of them are are full. I don't think anymore. Uh, we've been picking away at them. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's time to go ahead and get stuff moved over and just see how much room we actually have. So I'm just going to do the back and forth for a little while longer. We still have a little bit more stuff here, but that does take care of most of what was over here in front of the Explorer's Lodge. We got all our leftovers from from this build that are going into our storage system now. And as far as this stuff over here goes, I, you know, this isn't necessarily building supplies. This is more stuff we collected working over here. Um, I was going to say a lot of this can go into our actual like storage system and be sorted, but, um, like maybe the mob drops and stuff can, uh, I want torches and we need to keep those over here. Actually, I think most of this we're going to keep, uh, in our storage room at the, at our house, uh, just for like future terraforming, landscaping, stuff like that. And like this random stuff can be put away, but I think the blocks, the building supplies, all that stuff, landscaping grass, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep all that with us. 
And jumping ahead a little bit, that takes care of that. So we've got the majority of our stuff moved into our storage room now. Uh, there is one more block of items uh, that I believe we still have out here. It has been sitting out here for quite a while, actually. And it's mostly stuff we got from kind of uh, shaping the land over here, getting the rough shape of it in. Uh, and I believe those chests are on over this way. And it would make sense to kind of empty those out because we will be coming back over here and getting a lot more stuff. Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to have like tons and tons of uh, chests laying around. Yeah, we're going to have uh, all this can go into into our main storage, I think. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Forget about it. Forget forget about all that. I'm not putting any more stuff away. That stuff over there has been sitting over there for a while. It can wait a little while longer until we have the means to put it away more efficiently in the future. I don't want to spend all day doing that right now. What I want to do is actually get back to today's project. I want to go ahead and start building. So let's go on back to our house. So now that we've started to get moved in, it would make sense to me to to start actually decorating in here. And I'm thinking it's looking a little dark. So maybe what we want to do is lighten it up a little bit. Now, I do want to keep the wood feel to it, but I'm thinking maybe birch is the way to go here uh, just to kind of lighten it up. And we could fit another column of chess in here, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. There we go, though. Uh, got, got my next column of chest in here. Uh, so a little bit more storage space and, you know, birch. OK, back to the birch. We were talking about this before I interrupted myself. Uh, we're going to need more of this. And we get our birch mostly from our tree farm, uh, which is way, way over in the business district of Luna. You can kind of see the business district over there. It's kind of a long way to go back and forth. It's more over that way, kind of beyond that little. You see it way, way over there, kind of beyond that, um, it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If we're going to use a lot of wood in this area, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to keep running back and forth. So maybe what would make sense is to have like a little manual tree farm over here. Now, we did something similar to that with the jungle and our dark, dark oak wood over there. You know, we got a little manual farm for those things. But maybe we just need a, a manual tree farm in general just to keep us supplied with wood. So I think I'm going to go ahead and flatten out some of this area and we'll go ahead and move the dark oak. We'll move the jungle over here. We'll get some other wood types growing as well. And since this might be fairly large, I don't want it to be huge, but at least kind of big enough to uh, keep us supplied. Maybe we'll go ahead and call Watchdog over here, put on a little bit of music and try to get that taken care of. Welcome back, everybody. Ow. I did not mean to fall off of this. I wanted to actually be up here <laughs> on top of this platform so I could give you guys a view uh, by kicking up there. Okay, well, that's our tree farm. That's our tree farm. It looks better from up there, <laughs> but that's our tree farm. It's a little it's a little small, I think, for our needs, though. I did build this pathway through our neighborhood that's going to go over here, so we do have easy access to it, uh, and we can get plenty of dark oak and, and spruce and jungle if need be, but I think we're going to have to expand to the other side of the Explorer's Lodge if we want to have any kind of decent supply of, like, you know, our oak and acacia and birch, which we actually do need to use today. Um, 
I mean, considering that's what we're basically building our interior out of, right? That's what all our interior walls are going to be, and, and this is all we've got so far. So, uh, yeah, th this is kind of pointless for right now. I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to expand the tree farm anymore today. That's not today's project. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, I think what I might have to do is just head on over to uh, <laughs> to our actual automatic tree farm. Now, fortunately for us, though, we did spend a pretty good amount of time recently farming a pretty good amount of birch. Uh, so, yeah, we got some. We got some to spare. Are you going to shoot a fireball at me? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we'll just go ahead and cover our walls with this birch. Then we'll go back through and strip them all down. And then we'll step back, have a peek at it, and yeah, that, that's already feeling much, much better to me. The next step would be to hide all that randomness that uh, is visible behind our chests over here. And since we're not really doing any type of automatic sorting, we can just box that in with some stone and, and call it a day, I think. And then we can go ahead and start getting some of our other crafting essentials moved in here. Our crafting bench and our wood cutter or stone cutter. We need a wood cutter too. Um, <laughs> our crafting bench would probably be best suited to go. Let's see. What's a convenient spot for it? Uh, easy access. I think maybe right here. And as far as the stone cutter goes, I am going to make a little table to place this on top of. That way I don't walk into it because that thing is dangerous. And since we are making this into a little workshop area, it would make sense to go ahead and add some lighting so we can see what we're doing when we're doing work. Uh, and I think maybe we also want to add like a little bit of lighting over here as well. But if we are going to do that, then I think we'll also want a little work table on this side too, just kind of like this. And I think we could stand to have our lighting fit in with the decor just a little bit better. And if you were wondering what I was thinking with the floor, I am going to go ahead and convert that to the full block level. But if we're going to do that, I also want to make sure that we add some hidden lighting in here to make sure there's no spawnable. That's not right. That's not right. I want to make sure there's no spawnable areas because, uh, yeah, I don't want to be greeted by mobs when I come home in the evening. And of course, we'll hide that lighting under some carpet. And because this is a workshop, I will not be carpeting the entire floor. I just have some anti fatigue mats strategically placed to, to you know, keep me uh, not fatigued as I'm standing on my little work areas and stuff. Uh, but then we need to go ahead and add some doors in here as well. Uh, probably something like this. I don't know if I want it there. I think I want these to maybe open outwards. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and put those over the stone brick blocks instead. And that completes the workshop. So now that we have a place to keep our materials, now that we have a place to craft our stuff, now that we have a place to do work, it's time to go ahead and start getting to work on the actual house. And we'll start that the same way we did downstairs by getting our walls. And that's the first step. We're following the same steps here. Uh, now I did run into a little bit of a hiccup right here in this area where I did not leave myself enough room to double layer my walls. But I think that's OK because we have so many like detailed blocks on the outside that uh, I think if we maybe pushed our interior blocks out a little bit we could probably get away with it um, because I'm not rebuilding this section of the house. <laughs> I'm not, uh, but I think we might be able to make this work. And from there, we'll just continue building up, you know, making small corrections and small changes to areas that we mess up as we go along. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our second floor walls in. And since our ceilings are a little bit higher up here on the second floor, talking specifically about this room right here, I'm thinking what we can do is go a little bit higher than we would with Watchdog's room. Kind of have this uh, this room be just like a little bit more of a grand entrance into Watchdog's room. I'm, I'm really catering to him right now for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I think maybe that'll look good. 
And this is what we're rolling with. So, I mean, the, the rooms are fairly small. They're not huge or anything, but as I said, this is a temporary house. So we're eventually going to give back to some villagers anyway. Um, now, as far as the ceiling goes, what I think we're going to do for the actual bedrooms is just kind of cap them off and not get too fancy with them. Because let's face it, Watchdog doesn't need that much headroom. He, he's, he's about the same height as I am. You know, we're not especially tall. Um, so I think we could probably do something like this and we'll just go down here and we'll see how that looks. We'll see how that works for us. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. And yeah, I mean, that's that's plenty of room. He still has super tall ceilings. Um, and we could probably do the same thing out here by capping the ceiling off right at this level. Um, but before we do that, I, I need to get back to the walls because I, I forgot to birchify my walls in here. Um, I don't even know if we can actually do this. Hold on, let me hop outside and just make sure we have some coverage here, we do. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I mean, I think, I think we can do this. Uh, we bring the birch up to like this level, right? So we're not taking out any of the exposed spruce, but we can take out a pretty good amount of it. Now, as far as lighting goes, we're gonna have some hidden, some not so hidden, uh, because even though we are bringing our floor in here up to the full block level, uh, we're not going to be hiding a lot of lighting in the floors, aside from these floor mats right here, as soon as you walk in, you know, you wipe your feet on the light source. Uh, we're gonna have mostly like table lamps and stuff set up in here, and I have some like, kind of hidden lighting in my closet here, because I did build myself an AFK closet in case I just feel the need to hang out in this area for any reason. Um, and I think the lighting is good. Like we don't need a super whole lot of it. Uh, this right here, I'm not too sure about, uh, this right here. I'm not too sure about watchdog. will have a table lamp in his room though. I do know that much. Um, and I think that's good as far as the actual interior lighting goes. Uh, now as far as the exterior goes, you can kind of see what we did here with the, uh, you know, just hiding the birch behind some like trap doors and whatnot. So that way it's not super visible from the outside. <laughs> I uh, I completely forgot to uh, fix the exterior of that floor. I thought I did, but apparently I did not. Avert your eyes. Let me take care of this real quick. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if we fix that. Um, hopefully it it's better now. That was embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see that, you know, the birch isn't super visible from the outside because we are covering it up. Uh, let's go and have a peek at the other side as well before we say we're actually good here. Um, yeah. And then the next step would be to go ahead and get our floor in place and then we'll have the basic structure of the interior done and it's all down to the details after that. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish getting all these slabs in place and then I'll be back with you. I'm out of slabs. I'm out of slabs. Uh, let me go ahead and get some oak and then I'll get the slabs in place and then I'll be back with you. And now that the structure itself is complete, ow, it's time to start getting ourselves moved in. That means getting our beds, getting our furniture, getting everything else where it actually needs to be. Now, as far as beds go, I call the blue one. I want the blue one. And then we'll just do like a little nightstand for our lamps to sit on top of. And we're going to dress these up with the jungle just so they fit in with the decor of this place a little bit better. And I think we'll continue adding the jungle details because that's making this place feel a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more finished and a little bit more detailed. Uh, so we're going to continue to do stuff kind of like this throughout the rest of the house, um, especially this crown molding right here. I do like this. Um, now, as far as this room right here goes, I'm still going to mess around with this, but the crown molding can go into all of these areas with flat ceilings. And we'll also use those jungle stairs for other little details in and around our house. Now, there's still like furniture and all other little kinds of details to get in. And I think, I think I actually want maybe like a handrail right here on these stairs. I don't feel safe walking up and down these stairs without any kind of handrail. You know, I, sometimes I don't really watch my step. So maybe we'll go ahead and get something. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I knew that wasn't gonna work. Um, maybe we can go ahead and get something like this in, but we can't bring it all the way up due to our walls kind of being in the way up here at the top. So maybe we could go on the other side of it like this. 
actually maybe we could bring these all around to the other side let's see how this looks real quick they're, they're going to be kind of offset for me i think we did this in in wolfman's laboratory didn't we uh they're kind of offset from each other like this yeah that works that works and up here in this tall room, maybe instead of doing a floor lamp or a table lamp, we do a hanging lamp. That way it saves us some floor space since this is only like a little, you know, three by three area. And then we'll just get the rest of our junk moved in and we're good to go. You know, we got some bookshelves over here because, you know, Watchdog likes to read. He likes his reading material. So we got some of those sprinkled around the house. Um, and I think, I think we're probably good here. You know, it's a small house. There's only really two rooms to this thing. But as I said, it's a temporary living arrangement. Uh, we haven't built our, you know, permanent house yet. This will eventually go to a villager, as I've said previously. But it's a good, it's a good base for, you know, at what we're actually building out here, which we're going to be doing a lot in the near future. So it's, it's good. You know, it's good. It suits our needs. Um, now we're not done because we do need a yard out here. Now, before we actually get around to building our yard, we first need to figure out where our property lines are and how big our yard actually is going to be. Um, so let me go ahead and grab this real quick before I forget it. Uh, so I think we're probably going to have a house right here, maybe two houses. We have room for two houses right here, I think. Uh, we'll probably have another house over here on this side where the beacon is kind of. And then on this side, we'll have a house probably in this area. But I don't think we're going to have one over here because we don't have a whole lot of room to to build. Well, I'm not really going, planning on building this out too much. So I think probably about right here ish. This will probably be the edge of our yard. And as far as the other side of our house goes, I think we could take our landscaping like all the way around to the bridge here. Uh, so we got some room to actually do some landscaping here. And I'm thinking I want kind of like a beachfront thing with like sand and stuff like that. I'll kind of figure it out as I go along, I think. Uh, that also lets us figure out what we're going to be doing with these platforms right here as well. Uh, so yeah, it's time to go ahead and kind of figure all that stuff out. And I think the best way to do that is probably to call Watchdog on over here. He's hanging out over in the farm district right now. I'll go ahead and call him over. We'll put on a little bit of music and get some uh, landscaping done. Welcome back everybody and I have a yard. I have a yard now 
And uh, it's it's a little bit overgrown. You know, I don't have time for yard work. You know, I got a, there's a lot of building that needs to be done. There's a lot that needs to happen around. I'm a very busy man, so uh, I don't have time for yard work. It's a little bit overgrown, but I'll go ahead and walk you through it and show you like what I was actually planning on doing down here. Uh, now, there's no actual like light sources around this area. Uh, unlike up here where our travelable paths are, you know, we want these to be non-spawnable for mobs. You know, we want these to be safe. Uh, down here, I'm not too worried about that because I, I was going to say, I don't think any mobs can get onto our travelable areas where me and villagers are going to be hanging out. Um, let me kind of re-manicure this real quick. Hold on. All right. So I basically, I expect mobs to be down here, but I don't expect them to look at that. Another one. I don't expect them to be able to jump up to where we're going to have villagers and where I'm going to be. So where we're normally going to be is going to be safe. Like this is fire, this campfire. Uh, that's the only light source down here. And I think uh, even if we are going to have mobs, they won't be able to get up to where they can actually be of any real threat to us unless they can jump across. I don't think they can. I think we're good here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek around the other side as well. Clearly I should have uh, looked at this before I showed you guys, but yeah, we're gonna have like fences and we're gonna have two high jumps that uh, mobs can't really make. So I think we're pretty safe as far as where we're gonna be. I do wanna do something about this line of course dirt. Yeah, I really should have looked at this before I brought you guys out here to see it. Uh, let me do something with this real quick. And then I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Oh, man. How you guys put up with me, I will never know. Oh, I also built myself another little pathway here. It kind of gives me easier access to my basement from the street and vice versa. You know, it makes going to the wood farm easier. Okay, so hopefully that is a little bit better. We added some cobblestone walls and some mossy walls to kind of just break up that line so that way it's not so bleh. Uh, we did end up stopping right about here. I did not continue it the whole way around, uh, even though it's going to be like the platform we did over on the other side. Um, I am going to have to kind of do some landscaping underwater as well eventually, some aquascaping, if you will. Um, and you can go away. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, take you guys around while it was a little bit dark so you could see how it looks at nighttime. Uh, this is the platform, of course. You already saw this. We walked through here a little bit earlier, but you can see how everything starts to tie in now. Now, right you can see how everything will eventually kind of go together and you know just kind of work together uh and this is as i said our only light source down here uh just you know i want a nice little place to kind of sit and relax every now and then you know just kind of hang out and uh get, get some me time but i mean maybe you're asking yourself why i want to actually give mobs a place to spawn it's, it's not that i want to give mobs a place to spawn though it's it's that i do want some areas to be dark because as you can see here, like all of the travelable areas, our city, it's all illuminated. Uh, and this right here is not because it's going to allow us to tie those areas in to the rest of the landscape because I am not going to light everything else up. So we need to kind of transition into, you know, the rest of the world here, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I think that's probably going to be a good way to do it. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this. You know, we're starting to see the approach now take shape. There's obviously a lot more work to be done. There's a lot more work to be done. But uh, now we can do it from our house here because we have a place that we can actually work out of here at the approach uh, and not have to worry about, you know, getting back into Luna, you know, constantly uh, for the stuff we actually need. Um, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. And as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo and I will see you guys later.